Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to analyze Lekke scale agree disagree survey data where the labels to the scale come with the values. So uh, you may have uh, a Lekke scale agree ag disagree survey data where the labels come with the values attached to each label. So, uh, how do we handle this format of a Lacquer scale? And how do we analyze it using a pivot table and also be able to chart, uh, generate a chart for that? So, a bit of context is that this is a sample survey data about customers of an airline where the passengers were asked to state their agreements with the reason, uh, they pick the airline. So some of the statements included uh, the departure and arrival time was favorable, the connection were favorable, I have a frequent flyer account with the airline, the airfare was better, and so on. So how do we handle this set of statements, uh, parameters, and where respondents were asked to rate it on a lucky scale agree and disagree and the data came with the values uh to each label how do we handle this format of the lucky scale all right so first what we need to do is to load the data to power query so once we open it in power query we select all the columns that has the lucky scale responses so we select all these columns Great. And then go to transform from transform. We go to unpivot only selected columns. All right. So let's name this statement as statement, the attribute column as statements, and then the like still response, like scale responses are our responses. All right. Then the next thing is to close, go to home, close, and load this to the data model. So let's add this to the data model. We want to generate a pivot table report in an existing sheet. Uh, we want to generate the pivot table here. Great. Then we have our pivot table. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to cross tablet the statements in rows and then the responses in column. And we want to count this using the respondent ID. So by default, because the IDs are numeric, pivot table will sum it by default, but we want to count. So we check this and select distance count. So the distance counts gives us the exact number of respondents who selected that. And remember, respondents could, they, they had to respond to each statement. All right, so let's sort this uh, in descending order. So agree had the highest frequency followed by strongly agree. So we can also order the scale in descending order from strongly agree uh, to strongly disagree. So let's have strongly agree here followed by agree. So we'll move this one to agree. Then the next thing is uh, neither agree nor disagree. Then we have strongly uh, disagree and then strongly disagree. All right, so this is similar to the previous video where we had just only the labels. But now you see that the labels come with the value. So how do we get rid of that? So the simplest way is to just edit this out. So for each of that, you just edit the values out. This one. And then that is it. So now we have just only the labels. Uh, another way is that we could have done this in the uh, power on in power query. 
to automate the process. If our data was still in progress, then we always want to fetch the pivot table. Uh, but that would have involved some number of steps. But if your data is completed, we just want to analyze, you can do this. You just need to edit this out and then you are good to go. All right. So now um, there are two ways of handling the lacquer scale data. You can consider your data on an ordinal scale where you want to just look at the distribution of respondent responses across the scale. Or you may also want to treat it as an interval data where you want to take uh, maybe averages and look at the proportion across the scale. So now let's um, treat this data as on, on the ordinal scale. So what it means is that the focus we want to look at is uh, we want to see the spread of the responses across the scale. So for each uh, driver of the decision of the customer, uh, the airline customer, you want to find out uh, which one uh, stands out. So you want to see which one the respondents associate most with. So one way, another way you can handle this is what we call the top box, uh, the top box call. So where you just focus on the top two responses, which is the strongly agree and agree. So I have a video on that. You can check it out. So um, here we want to look at the distribution so we can take a um, percentage of row total then we have our proportions there okay so what we want to do is the essence of analysis is to is to get insight from the data and one way of doing that is to make it very easy to see what stands out so one way you can show this uh you can use uh conditional formatting let's say uh let's let's do this with a, a bar chart conditional formatting so we select this and all these responses we go to conditional formatting use data bars so we can use a data bar to show this okay then uh we have our percentages so that's one way you can look at it. So we can hide this. So this grand total is the overall. So overall, we want to just see overall how many people uh, selected strongly agree out of the total number of respondents, uh, depending on if it's necessary for analysis because they focus on the parameters. So for uh, we can also arrange these parameters using the strongly agree uh in descending order so that we know which one comes first all right so uh there's a way you can do this so that when the pivot table moves uh the conditional formatting within go so let's look at uh let's do it again and then we have our our table here okay so uh if you look at this we can arrange this center it okay so this is what we we have so uh the the best way is to resize these columns so that they all have the same size that will help you to see the bus clearly so this is one way you can you can kind of show the trend in regards to which parameter stands out so if you look at it you see that uh, the FA was better you have like the first two uh, scores to give you uh, 80 that will be 86 percent of respondents uh, believe that the FA was better influence their decision to uh, go with the airline so aside this one other thing you can do you can also use uh you can use color coding to show that you need to clear the this one so another way is to insert a chart let's insert a chart uh using horizontal stack bar chart because they all add up to 100 we can hide these patterns resize it uh, do some editing with the charts 
uh, then we have our chart shown here so um, you can just check the chart around you can change the colors depending on how you want to look at it uh, and, and, and so on and then you have your chart for the, the case scale that is it thank you